Okay, today we're going to be looking at the derivatives of natural logarithmic functions. So previously we were learning that if we had um, y equals e of x, the derivative is also e of x. Now we know that when y equals the logarithm of x, e to the y equals x. So we can take these facts but and we can let's look at if so we've got y to the of x y equals the log of x. If we take the exponential of y we get x and the exponential of y equals dx by dy so dy by dx by rearranging must be 1 over x so the derivative d by dx of the log, the natural logarithm of x equals 1 over x. Now we can use the chain rule to work out the, the derivative of a logarithmic function. So let's let y equal the log of u where u equals f of x and so we get dy by du equals 1 over u and du by dx is the derivative of whatever x is. So then using the chain rule we get dy by dx is equal to dy by du terrible writing times du by dx which is 1 over u times the derivative of x. So the, the general rule is d, oops let me move that, the derivative of sub um the log some lo the log of some function ax plus b would be um let me just I'll expand this a bit I'll, I'll tidy this up a bit more so we'd have f dashed of x so the derivative over you well, what was u u was the um u was the function, that's not the, that's the wrong one in, f of x. Um, so in general, the log of, the, the, the derivative of some, the log of some function would be the derivative, so the derivative of ax plus b is just a over ax plus b, that function. So let's look at some examples of this. So the log of 2x will be um, the, the derivative of y equals log of x, 2x is um, dy by dx will be, so it's just the derivative of this part in here, which is 2 over the 2x. Um, if we had the log of 4x minus 3, dy by dx is, well the derivative of this part here is just 4 over this function 4x minus 3. And if we had y equals the log of the square root of 5 minus x. Now there's two ways to do this one. 
So we can do the inside derivative. So we can think of f of x is equal to, we'll do it this way around, 5 minus x to the, to the half. And then f dashed of x would be um, a half 5 minus x to the minus a half times minus 1. Um, which is minus 1 over 2 the root 5. 5 minus x. Um, so let's go back to this. So then dy by dx would be, remember the derivative of the f of x over f of x. So that is going to be minus 1 over um, 2 5 minus x multiplied by the 1 over 5 minus x which will give us minus 2 and this will, the, the square roots will cancel out 5 minus x. Um, the other way to do this one is by, let's examine the logarithm fu function. So if we have the log of a to the power m, then m is then it's equal to m the log of a. So we have the log of 5 minus x to the half, which is equal to half log of 5 minus x. Now we can do dy by dx is going to be um, a half. Now it's the derivative of the thing in here, which is just going to be minus 1 over the 5 minus x, which gives us what we've just got there. Let's do um, a couple which involve the product rule and the, the quotient rule um, just to show us something that's a wee bit more um, complicated. So let's look at y equal to 2, four, um, two times 4, um, 2x to the power 4 then the log of 5x. So we're going to use the product rule. So let's make u equal to 2x to the power 4 and then du by dx would be 8x cubed. And v is going to be the log of 5x. So dv by dx would be um, um, 5 over 5x which would be 1 over x. And then dy by dx would be um, u dv by dx plus v du by dx. So u would be 2x to the power 4 times dv by dx, which is 1 over x plus v, which is the log of 5x times du by dx, which is 8x um, x cubed. Tidy that up, that's going to cancel out. So we'll get 2x cubed plus 8x cubed log 5x. Let's do one with the quotient rule now. So we'll have y equals log 2x over x to the power 3 x cubed. Now, I find it easier doing your derivative, identifying the two functions, y and v, and then 
differentiating them and then putting them into the general formula just like I did with the the um um the product rule one I think it's just um easier to keep track of things and um so you don't get yourself too bogged down and too much working that, that's my preference um, some people would just go straight in and slot everything into the formula for say, the quotient rule or the product rule. Um, so in this one, u is the log of 2x. So du by dx equals um, 2 over 2x, which is 1 over x. And then v is, is um, x cubed, so dv by dx is 3x squared. Now the quotient rule is, um, I just need to always double check it out, get them all, get the mind the, 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 the wrong way round, is v du by dx minus u dv by dx all over v squared. Um, so that's going to be v is x cubed times the u by dx, so it's going to be over x minus u, which is log of 2x times v, which is dx squared, all over um, v cubed, which is x cubed times um, squared which is going to be x to the power 6 this will cancel this so we'll get x squared minus 3x squared log 2x all over log to the 6 we can take that out and simplify it so we can take the x squared out and that's going to cancel with this so we'll have 1 minus 3 log 2x all over. Now the x squared that we've taken out is cancelling with that so we'll just get x to the power of 4. Um, so I hope that helps.